I consider myself an industrial designer, which means that I would always think of products, not just as in one-off, but as a, as a series, a multiplication. Mm -hmm. Then on top of that, I'm, I'm German. I, was, I, I probably have some of um, what are considered kind of cliches or ideas of what Germans are. They are logical, more rational. Um, I think I am to some extent, um, but I'm very hands-on. Uh, a lot of the things we do come out of a certain action of just making it, doing it. And um, I'm, I think in, in that respect, I'm, I'm probably, let's say, more of an old school designer in, in the sense that we, we, we still work with the real, the real physical stuff. This chair is, is probably the most iconic thing I've designed. It was the first piece of furniture um, that was really industrially produced. A paper model, um, which shows you a little bit how it all started. This is the real process of designing things. Um, you start building things, um, and as you go along, you, you learn and you make further decisions. The design process is a kind of process of decision making, one decision after the other. We take furniture for granted, and I don't want anyone to think about how difficult it is to build furniture, but even doing very, very basic things sometimes are incredibly difficult. We, you know, send man to the moon, but, uh, but building a, a, a wooden chair <laughs> is still uh, you know, uh, it's, it's still a challenge. When they first told me about the award, um, it was quite a clear program um, that the designer of the year has a kind of retrospective show of his or her work, but would also create um, a specific new piece of work. The installation is called Netscape. Doing a project like this is, is really very enjoyable just because things happen quite quickly and, and the, the sensation of building something and, and, um, and the making, you know, it, it just gives you a lot of energy. Sometimes you can imagine projects that drag out over over years, this, this momentum gets lost. Right. And, and this, a project like this has a total momentum. This I found in a, in a shop. Um, it's, a, it's a table made of ceramics. It's the kind of thing that, you know, probably if you don't buy it, you, you, you'd be thinking about it for the rest of your life. I like print matter. I like things printed on paper and I, I have lots of them. I have drawers full of them. They're time capsules. They mean something just in that one moment and, um, and just keeping that piece of paper preserves this moment. The 20 years um, has passed so quickly. I would say by no means do I know how things work. Um, I think this is what keeps me very passionate about the whole thing.